Hello there and welcome to another Friday night for another episode of Not Your Average Globetrotter. I'm Rafael Di Furia and this Friday night we are going to be talking about shopping online in Italy. This is not going to be a video about like getting your Italian products directly from Italy. Some of these websites you might be able to do that with. Uh, it's not like if you're living in the United States or Canada, Australia and you need to get a panettone or something for Christmas. Actually. There is one website that it maybe could work, but it wouldn't be cheap. This is more if you are planning to live in Italy, study in Italy, spend any kind of time here. What websites that you might want to take a look at for some of the basic things that you might want to order or maybe even not so basic things that you might want to order online. Of course, before we get started with this, a huge thank you to the patrons who make content like this possible. And if you could give this video a like, that greatly helps out the project and I would very much appreciate it. But anyway, roll the intro and let's get into it. I have to also say that no, this video is not sponsored by any of the websites that I'm going to mention in this video, but there may be some referral links down in the more info section below if you're on YouTube. If you're listening to this as an audio only podcast, feel free to message me and I'll be happy to send you any links. One of the things that really is great about living in Italy is like a lot of modern developed countries is that you have quite a few options for shopping online. But one of the really wonderful things about Italy specifically is that you don't only have to shop from Italy itself. So for example, we have Amazon here, amazon.it. You have a lot on there and not always the greatest prices, but unfortunately there are some things on there that are much better priced than even local shops. And I'm somebody who always has the strongest preference to try and support local businesses. But unfortunately, when we're talking about a store that maybe has something that's five times the price or three times the price and same if not lower quality, it makes it difficult to start shopping locally. There are certain things that maybe if I need an emergency, I'll try to get it at a local shop, but there are times when maybe for a day, like on a Sunday or a holiday or a couple days, things might be closed here and you do need that Amazon delivery. And, and depending on where you are in the country, you can get very fast delivery times. I have heard some places you can get same day delivery. I can't confirm that because I've never had that before, but I know next day delivery is definitely possible in many cases. Even I've ordered like after midnight and received something technically the same day. But that's also because where I live, they happen to have a couple of Amazon centers, uh, actually two, like literally a couple very close to here. And it's they're trying to make these locations actually some of the central locations for the whole continent. So quite fortunate where I happen to live with Amazon delivery. But it's not just Amazon.it that I can shop from because there are some times, a lot of times, that you can't find certain things on Amazon.it but you might be able to find it on Amazon.de. And the nice thing about Amazon.de, Germany, is that they do have a version of the website available in English without Google Translation needed. So if you don't speak Italian, I've actually known expats who do this, they've paid for the shipping fees specifically, even though it's a little bit more uh, to get it all the way to brought to Italy, just because it's more convenient for them. For me to get through the website in Italian is generally easy enough because that's the only real drawback to Amazon IT is that it's all in Italian. They do offer some customer service in English, but it's very difficult to find. You have to click through a bunch of pages and sometimes their English is good enough, but it depends on the rep that you get. But then you also have Amazon.es, Amazon Spain. And there have been uh, like one or two times where I couldn't find something on Amazon.it, DE, but it was available on ES. The shipping costs are a little bit more from, from Spain than they are from Germany, but this is Europe. So you can shop from any country and you're not going to have to pay those import duties. But there are times when paying certain import duties is actually much cheaper than what you would spend if you would purchase something directly here in the country. And that especially goes for vitamins or supplements and anything kind of along those lines. And even to the point, I'm just reading this off because it's a note that I took because I want to make sure I get this right. Um, on iHerb.com, again, not a sponsor, but uh, if you spend over $40 US, you can get free shipping and you end up paying less than 10% for customs. And this is, yeah, this is international shipping. You just have to make sure that you select 
the right shipping method. You don't want to go with the local shipping services through the local Italian post. In the years that I've used them, they've changed their services, the shipping services once or twice. They used to use DHL. I think now they use a service called DPD, which I think in the end goes through DHL. I forget, whatever. But don't select the normal shipping services The 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 if you're shopping from Italy. Because also the thing is you prepay for the customs and duty and all of that. And it's so much easier to deal with than going through the local Italian mail service because if you do then in that case you might end up waiting eight months before you ever see your package if you ever get it and i'm speaking from personal experience there having accidentally selected that option once or twice but the thing is even with iherb you can get annie's mac and cheese cheddar bunnies um you can get face masks uh like the the kind that you rub in for your skin to make it better and then also even the 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 like surgical masks you can get other types of masks on there as well but when i buy masks cuz here in italy masks are still required in many situations if you're going inside masks are necessary so i have actually found that it's cheaper for me to add in a box of 50 masks from iherb on top of an order than it would be for me to buy them locally if I wanted to buy just a normal black surgical mask locally, I don't know, the price would be a couple of euros for a package of 10, where I can order a package of 50 and like decent normal quality, same if not slightly better than what I would buy locally. And it's less than $10. Like I want to say it's seven, eight, nine dollars for a package of 50. When we're figuring this into maybe some vitamins here costing like five times, literally five times the cost of what you might spend from Iyer back in the States, it's kind of hard to choose to buy something locally. Even if you are looking at other options from Europe, it's still a pretty cheap option. Of course, they also have teas, organic products, and a whole bunch of other things on there. Then there's another option called amicafarmacia.com, A-M-I-C-A-F-A-R. M A C I A dot com. Don't go to Pharma Amica. Very different website. <laughs> if you search on Google, you, you might see it come up. Don't go to that one. Uh, it's no dashes in there. It's amicafarmacia.com. If you sign up, then you also can get access to like coupon codes and then also if you order i think over 35 euros worth of products then you also can get free shipping so that's another website worth looking at uh there are some fellow camera nerds out there that i know are interested in maybe getting gear here in italy and amazon doesn't have the best prices if you are coming from the u.s Definitely, I recommend buying electronics there. More often than not, they end up being cheaper there. But the thing is, you can order certain things from the United States on occasion. And you just have to, again, consider that maybe with shipping fees and pay prepaying duties, that's the most important, uh, is can be lower cost than what you might spend here. Even my microphone, I, that was a situation. My microphone was <laughs> like... 33% more, like a third more to purchase here in Europe than it would be from America with shipping. And it was on sale at the time as well. But like it was, don't get me started. So if you wanted to buy from Amazon.com in the United States, just make sure that you prepay the customs and duty as well as the, uh, that it has to be the, the Amazon global shipping. It has to be part of that program because not everything is part of that. A lot of times the things directly sold by Amazon could have a chance of being a part of this program, but not everything, especially if it's sold by a third party seller. But if you are wanting any kinds of other things, there is also eBay in Italy, eBay.it, and you can order things from all around Europe and pay shipping fees, but no import or duty. Of course, you also still always have those cheaper items that come from China sometimes directly. And sometimes, unfortunately, it can be lower cost to buy like an adapter from China than it might be down at your local store, like a euro 50 cents or something for a, an adapter, an electrical adapter, than maybe five more, depending on where you are. I've spent too much on adapters in my life. 
Uh, I was very happy when I finally had made that full transition over into a, a European power adapters, uh, not like not converters. And so that's the other thing you have to consider. Do you need a converter, an adapter or a uh, transformer? All very different things for a different episode. I think actually it's possible I may have gotten into this subject in a very early episode of Not Your Average Globetrotter, potentially like single digits. So you might want to take a look there. Maybe you'll find it. If you don't, let me know. I'll be happy to make an episode about that at some point in the future. But then what if you're needing things, just anything, and you're wanting to buy secondhand? You have a couple options in Italy. So for example, in the United States, you've got Craigslist available. But in Italy, they don't use Craigslist. I don't. I think it used to be available, and then they stopped making it available. Um, if it's still around, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, most people in Italy would end up going to a place called Subito.it. S u b i t o dot i t. This is a place where you can list items, and there are sellers on there. And it's kind of an interesting combination between eBay and Craigslist because you can directly buy some things on there, but then there are other listings where you just go and buy it in person. It's, it's an interesting platform. But of course, when buying anything secondhand online, you also, of course, always have to be vigilant and stay aware of who the person is and to make sure that it's not a scam. You would have to do the same thing on eBay anyway, back in the States and anywhere. But then, of course, also Facebook Marketplace is something that you can find out here. Uh, depending on where you are in the country, maybe you'll find more things on one or the other. But you may find things only on one website or only on the other website. And I've actually seen some things listed on Facebook Marketplace, Subito, and eBay. So you just have to keep an eye open for those listings and to make sure that it's legit. And yes, there are tons of websites that you can shop for other various items locally it's in Italy. And this is one of the reasons why I like Amazon a little bit more. Um, you have to put your codice fiscale in there and you have to put other kind of data and things. And I don't, I'm not comfortable with that. It's fine. Yeah. Like theoretically, it's not really an issue, but I'm not a fan of that. Or, I mean, even if you want to buy musical instruments here in Italy, you can go to Strumenti Musicali. And that's another, actually a great place to look for instruments or Another place which actually you might get a little bit better price and have a larger selection is Toman. Uh, Toman.it or .de, I believe. You can, you can switch the language, but I would try the .it version and switching it into English if you need, or even if you don't need and you're an English speaker, <laughs> it's your, your language. There's certain listings on there that, in my personal opinion, make more sense uh, in English on that website. But one of the other things to consider with those websites is that if you can go to a local dealer, like a local music shop, depending on where you are, you might actually get a, a dealer or a shop owner that actually orders from those places themselves. And like there's actually a place here in the Rovigo that I needed to order something through a couple of things, actually some audio equipment for my work. And it wasn't necessarily that it was easier, but it was Nice for me personally, just that nice fuzzy feeling that I could feel like I was supporting a local business. Actually, I was supporting a local business. They made the order through their account. They have whatever pricing structure worked out. And I was able to order the thing that was on that website for the exact same price. But my guy here in Rovigo also gets a cut as well. So I like that. That's something that I like about those websites. You can order directly from them. That's not a problem. Over a certain amount, you also get free shipping. And so that's the thing also what I like about if I have to go to my guy, then I can sometimes if it's a like a small piece or whatever, like an adapter, then I can just get the free shipping and because he's going to be ordering stuff from them anyway. And just like many other countries, you do have all of the apps that you can order your food on. I mean, just a couple. I'm just looking at my phone here. Just Eat, Eat in Time, uh, Food Racers, and you also have Uber Eats available in some of the major cities. And I think there's one more that I'm missing. But um, where I live, we don't have Uber Eats. So where I live, for example, Eat in Time, Food Racers, and Just Eat are the main apps available. Eat in Time is always so buggy. The app has been broken for months. I want to say probably more than a year. It works. The customer service is not my favorite. Had to call them a few times. The order times, the expected deliveries are 
rarely ever right. <laughs> Sometimes they are. This is just my experience uh, with that. So while I can't say I recommend them, it's kind of the main option where I live. So when I've had those long days where I can't make myself something or can't go out shopping at the supermarket, it's come in handy. It's really come in handy. And of course, like there are also these secondhand apps for clothing that have become more popular. I think one of the ones that works here in Italy is Depop. Depop? <laughs> Not sure what it's called exactly. There's another one. I can't remember the name, but I don't use those apps. So I'm sorry that I haven't got that information for you guys, but uh, you can also, if you are needing something from fast fashion, I mean, you can order anything from like Zara, H&M, or even the higher end brands. You can order all of those things online and get them delivered here in Italy. Very easy, very simple. If you ever have the option, I recommend getting it through a courier like uh, DHL, SDA, even though it's part of the uh, Post Italian, it's a, a better service in my opinion, better, better quality service. Um, and then also, even if you're ordering on Amazon, they do have Prime here and that comes with Prime Video. Not everything is in English, but the majority of things seem to have an English option available. Um, there are a certain th number of movies that they are originally in English, but for licensing and whatever reason, they're only available with Italian audio. That's gotten better since I've lived here and since I've had my uh, Prime uh, subscription, which is very cheap on, on an annual basis. Um, and like I've, I, I do end up having to shop online enough that it does pay for itself when it comes to shipping costs and, and like fast shipping. And then of course you have other options like Zalando, Zalando, and um, what's the other one? I always see it, monomono.it, kind of like an Amazon sort of thing. I've never shopped from there. And of course, depending on where you are in the country, Shipping times can vary greatly, especially if you're on one of the islands like Sicily, for example. Like the shipping, I've read on some websites, they say it can take a day or two extra uh, if you are shipping to that area or even to some of the like far deep, deep south, it, depending like if you're in a small little village or if you're in a major city. Of course, if you're in a major city, shipping times are probably going to be a little bit more easy. Even you do have like for wish.com, which that's a whole different video in and of itself. Um, you can uh, have certain points locally where you can pick some items up um, like very quickly or they'll ship it to you. Just these are the main kind of things that you'll find here. Very similar to what you'll find in other countries. Yes, you will find local Italian stores that have certain things, but when I'm looking online, I would be more likely to purchase from some of the places that I've mentioned today, not all of them. Um, but more so like say Amazon or maybe eBay because they do have some of that buyer protection in there. And one of the things that I do end up liking about Amazon it, coming from an American mindset that they do have a little bit more of that American style of customer service as well as um, for returns. They're really good about returns if something is broken or it doesn't come, which is unfortunately not uncommon that I've had a number of occasions where I've had to contact them because something hasn't arrived. Not something that happens too frequently, but more frequently than I would like. I would assume maybe not too different than what you might find in some areas in the States. These things can happen here. If you have a building in a city with a doorman, okay, of course, like this is probably going to be less likely to happen. Could it? Maybe. But to quote a great song, this is the world we live in and these are the hands we're given. Anyway. Thanks so much for joining me on another Friday night for another episode of Not Your Average Globe Trotter. Of course, the biggest, hugest thank you to those of you who help to make content like this on a regular basis through Patreon or through one-time donations through rafaeldifuria.com slash support, or those of you who also buy the shirts, mugs, onesies, and more, or posters like you see behind me with a number of different designs on them. Thank you all so very much for helping to make this project be able to continue. And thank you all, of course, for liking and watching and subscribing and sharing these videos. The liking and sharing especially helps so much. So thank you very much for helping to be a part of this. Of course, as always, I'm Rafael Di Furia. Stay safe and healthy out there, and I'll see you all next time. Later.